Hey, sup from I'm the Noodle Hunter, and I've got something from the lands of Japan. Chinese style spicy vegetable miso instant ramen, but a company Nissin. Weighing in at 60 grams of dry weight and a caloric content of approximately 235. So, I just recently discovered that Tantan Men actually translates to Chinese style. According to my Japanese friend anyway, so the Tantan Men noodles that I reviewed in the past might have not been done on noodles, but it did taste like Dun Dun noodles. Whoops. You know what though? Translation can be a very messy thing to do. But aside from that, let's give these noodles a taste test. Inside we have of course the noodles. The noodles don't look like the typical cup noodle brand. It looks like flat Chinese style noodles. Cool. It also includes the assorted vegetables in dry form. It looks like that could be leek. Um, that kind of looks meaty. I don't know, I guess I'll find out when I eat it. Um, and mustard bits. Cool. And of course, it includes the spicy oil. Heck yes. Alright, let's move on to the next part. Boiling these noodles. Right then, let's pour it right in. Oh yeah. I think I might pour it up to the line. And I did forget to mention before, it does come with the seasoning already opened up inside because it wouldn't be soup noodles without them. I think I'll pour it up to around there. It's completely submerged. And it smells really nice as well. Mm, these noodles feel very hot. A little bit concerning, but I will trust the system of boiling these noodles by waiting three solid minutes. It's been about five minutes now. I misread the instruction and thought it only took three minutes until I looked at the lid. Yep. There it is, five minutes. But anyway, are you guys ready for the grand opening of Chinese style spicy vegetable miso instant ramen by the company Nissin? Oh yes, bam. Damn, that looks pretty amazing. Look at the color of that. Whoa, dang. All right, I'm gonna add the spicy oil and mix it up real quick. Hmm, I wonder how spicy this really is. It's more like a chili flavored oil. It doesn't really spi feel, taste blah, blah, spicy at all. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, look how flavorsome that looks. Jeez, there's so much color. Brown, red, and the colors of the corn really makes it look very appealing. And you know what I always say, you've got to taste the soup first. Got my magical spoon from the mystical dragon to taste it right now. Oh yeah. Whoa. That is so dark. And I always like to test the concentration of the soup by not being able to see the bottom of my spoon. And in this case, I can barely see the little eggplant that's right there. And along with the chili oil that's in it, hell, I'm going to have to sip it right now. Whoa, wow, that tastes very much like vegetable soup. There's not even an ounce of like meatiness to it, but in a very good way. Hold on, I'm gonna sip this one more time. I'll tell you what though, the spiciness level is probably at a 0 0.5 out of 10, but the flavor level is still amazing. I was expecting it to taste more like, you know, dirty and greasy, but when I sip it, it tastes very clean on my mouth and it goes down my throat very, very nicely. There's no spiciness to it, as I mentioned before. It's so subtle that you can't even taste it. But this soup tastes like nothing like MSG at all. You could serve this soup powder in a restaurant and I wouldn't even know that you got it from an instant noodle. So, because of that reason, I will have to give it a perfect score of 10 out of 10. But, just one more sip. That is tasting fresh. Now, let's move on to the noodles. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. Bam. Now, to get back my spoon, bam. Ooh. Whoa. Those noodles taste legit. I think it's the same. Listen, uh, if you look at the, in my earlier footage, 
I did review something called Kogashi Ram, and there's another dis Nissan line called Nissan Rao. I believe you can find that symbol on my Kogashi Instant Ramen review, and if you want to watch that review, you can find that video in the description box below. But these noodles though, holy moly, I just, hold on, I need to take another bite. Oh man. Mmm. Oh. I bought this cup noodle in Daiso in Japan about a year ago. And for something that only cost a dollar, these noodles taste like restaurant quality noodles. That is amazing. The flavors and everything just so nice. I'm going to have to give these noodles a solid 10 out of 10 as well. What? This is like the cheapest and perfect noodle I've had it so far in my instant noodle vendetta. Gee whiz. Okay, let's combine the soup, the noodles, and the dry ingredients together, which is now rehydrated into a spoon. Okay, let's grab the soup real quick. Bam. Noodles. Ooh. Okay, right, give, me, give me two seconds. Oh, there we go. The only complaint I have about this is that it doesn't have enough um, noodles in it. I really love these noodles. Alright, I got uh, some corn. This must be some carrot. And do I have veg mustard? I do. Alright, let's take a big bite out of this. Mmm. Wow. Oh, that just tastes like restaurant quality noodles. Holy moly, I just can't believe this. From a Daiso bought cup noodle. That's just amazing. I'm gonna have to take one more bite. Hey, bam, bam. Have a bit of corn. And what I thought about it as well, they were very generous with the vegetables they added into this noodle. Quite nice. Yeah, I think I'll stick with that. Oh, gee whiz. And once again, bon appetit. Mmm. And as I bite into the corn, there's this kind of sweet, juicy explosion. So this dehydrated, dehydrated corn is very sweet as well, giving it another element of flavor to the noodles. Oh, this is just amazing! I don't know. I know. I do know that I'm gonna give these noodles a solid 10 out of 10. Whoa, gee whiz! That's all I have to really say about these noodles. You have to get this, and you're in Japan, and get it from a Daiso. That's where I got it from. And ah, oh, I'm in heaven. All right, that's all I have to say about these noodles then. So I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of the Noodle Hunter. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well to keep up to date with the videos I release. Hit that like button to inflate my ego just a little bit more. And leave a comment behind. And if it is a troll comment, please let it be constructive because I may just block you. Okay, I'll see you all next time.